If you are wondering how to model braces in Revit and its connections, I will teach you in a few minutes. Let's go. At the end of this video, you will be able to create the connections and also the profiles and braces itself. After you have modeled your uh, columns and beams, it's time to create the braces. First thing that I need, I love to do is to create a frame elevation in here. Go to the view and in here we have a elevation and in the drop down we have framing elevation. You just go on the uh, grid and then you can place your elevation. Let's go to the elevation itself and you can see it's not that great. So let me assign a maybe view template and let me put it on none again to have full control of it. I just wanted to have the colors and everything else. Let's go to the level. And the first step that I'm not going to do, but you have to do if you want, you have to go to the insert tab and add the family you want. For example, I want to use the tubes in here. You can use L angle and any kind of profile that you want to use. We have different kinds of braces, but in this video, let's create the one diagonal and also a V invert. Let's first start with the one diagonal and let's go to the structural part and click on braces. And another last tip before starting modeling is that uh, if your uh, brace is going to be from here to here, level 1 to level 2 in here, you have to start modeling in the base level that will be level 1. Okay, let's start it from here. Let's put it on level 2 and click here and click here. And then we are done. But let's change it to a tube. This one maybe. Now we are good to go. Let me model the inverted version 2. It's inverted. To do that, you have to go to the brace again, level two, and to have the uh, middle part, I have uh, created a detail line in here just for a, a auxiliary line and for help to help me. Let's create from here to here, and let's create one from here. Again, I forgot to change the profile. Let me just change it. Okay, that's great. Let's add the connections. Because you will use connections a lot, I will suggest you to create a shortcut for it or just add it in here. The first connection that I want to have is this one and this one and click on connection. Uh, we will assign the connection later. Let me select these two and let's select this one and this one and connection, this one and this one connection. And we, will, we have to select three in here this one, this one, and this one, and connection. Now let's start with here. Make sure to put it on fine to be able to see the connections. Let's uh, select this connection first. And I'm going to use a sandwich plated, uh, two connection with sandwich plates. And that will be the one that I'm going to use, but it's not perfect. We will solve it and let's do the same thing for this one. And let's see how we can make it correct. Let me create a uh, 3D section in here. You also can fix it in the elevation. Let's go to the elevation. Maybe that would be easier. Let's put it on fine. And in here, when you select it, if you have modeled it right, you will have two options in here. You can change the position of it. Let's put it on 279. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's change in here to minus 20, maybe a little less. That's perfect. Now in here, we have to do the same thing and we don't have the connection yet. Let's select this one and let's select this one and let's change it to the connection that we use for that part too. And for the upper part, you can select the connections in here. Again, we have a exact connection, but for two diagonals and one beam at top of it. Let's select it and then we have the perfect connection in here. The top is right and let's just uh, change it for here because we can change them together but I think uh, the dimension will be different so let's change it to minus 40. You can change it a little bit more or that's fine for the sake of this video. Yeah, that's okay for me right now. And then we have the connection but how we can Customize the connections here to control the connections. You have two ways. The first one is the instance mode For example, you just want to change this one and not the other ones that are in the same type For example here here and here if you want to do that you have to select it click on override by instance and then 
modify it from here then you just modify this this part is really easy you don't need any kind of explanation because it's self self describing so i'm not going to waste your time with this and if you want to don't want uh, to edit it as an instance and you want to edit these two and the other ones in the same time too you have to go to the edit type and in here change the settings in here you have the exact settings in here too to copy the braces to upper floors you have to select the profiles and connections and then you have to go to the modify tab copy to clipboard align to selected levels in here you shouldn't choose the level 2 because it's to level 1 to level 2 and it's kind of a trick for a structural element you have to select one above the ones that you think for example if you think it's level 2 you have to select 3, 4 and 5 that's the way the Revit works click on it finish now we have all of the braces in the upper floors if this video was helpful for you make sure to like this video and you can get all of the files on our patreon and if you want to learn about rebar shop drying in beam you can watch this video in here